Now that we have learned the essentials about the algebra, let's take a look to the actual execution. You just need 10 minutes in order to become an algebra hero. So we first start by downloading the latest version of the tool from the mouse. Then you just need to find out which are the actual instances that you want to operate. So in this case, we are going to grip to find uh, the actual Oracle home of two PMON processes. So in this case, we are going to operate two databases, one 11, two, four, and one uh, 18 version. After that, we are going to create a configuration file. For this, we will need to find the actual target version that we want to operate to. So we find out that on the Aura tab, and, and then we create the configuration file with the information that we just found. So to do so, we are going to use the option create sample file, which is an option of the auto grid. This will create a configuration file with, with some placeholder and blueprints that we can use to edit later on. So once the file has been created, we can open it up with our favorite editor and we can replace the files. One side note is that since we want to use the URP option for the restoration of the auto grade, we will need to enable the archive mode on both databases, DB1124 and CDB18X. So after we have taken the parameters that we want from the sample file, our final configuration file will look like this. We save the changes and then we just execute the tool using the command java minus jar to read the jar minus config, the path to our file, then minus mouth deploy. So the tool will examine the configuration file. We perform the pre-checks and then we just need to wait. And that's it. Just uh, to gather some status from the tool, we can use the LLJ command just to gather what's the current status. And that's it. After a few minutes, the upgrade will finish. And then we will have our databases upgraded and on version 19.